Welcome to Riley's Gardening Adventures. When it comes to gardening, you may have recognized the three letters visible on every package of fertilizer. NPK. NPK stands for the three main macronutrients of plants. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So what does each of these macronutrients do? Nitrogen facilitates rapid growth, foliage, and gives plants a distinct green. Phosphorus facilitates root development, flowers, and fruit production. And potassium facilitates strong stems and overall plant health. When it comes to tomatoes, we want fruits. So it begs the question, why not focus on phosphorus? So I googled the internet to find an answer. And all I could find was a 13-year-old post on a forum and a video about bloom boosting by a millennial gardener. Nothing answered my question. So I said, fine, I'll do it myself. What I have here is miracle Grow Bloom Booster. A Bloom Booster is a heavy phosphorus special fertilizer meant for flowers, which is a 10-52-10 NPK ratio. So five times heavy in phosphorus than the nitrogen and potassium. Now what I'm going to do is feed a tomato plant from transplant all the way to maturity with just Bloom Booster and see how the plant compares to Osmocote. Now Osmocote is my balanced fertilizer I've been using for the 2022 summer season, which is a 14-14-14 fertilizer. So nothing heavier in, in each side and all balanced. Now as you see with my past videos, I've had decent yields and decent fruits, but I want to have a little bit better. So my theory is, is with a high phosphorus fertilizer, I can basically manipulate lots of tomato and flower growth. So the tomato uh, variety I'm testing this on is Burpee Sandwich Slicer Hybrid. So the reason why I picked this variety is because it's very, very basic. It's six to eight ounces with a 70 day maturity. Um, and it boasts a certain degree of unspecified disease resistance. So it's red and it's globe shaped and nothing really special. Now I have some transplants already of the Sandwich Slicer Hybrid. And right here will be my Bloom Booster transplant and this one will be my Osmocote only transplant. Now both of these have been only receiving the standard potting mix so far as nutrition, but as I transplant them, they will be using the Bloom Booster and the Osmocote. Now you'd be wondering why is this much smaller than this? It's because I initially planned to just film and uh, experiment with just the Bloom Booster alone, but I want to have an accurate comparison between a balanced fertilizer and a bloom booster. So this has about two weeks developmental delay compared to this one, which will I will take into account when I transplant. Now the growing conditions will be identical. Both of these pots are filled with exactly a mix of Via Goro and Miracle Grow potting soil that has been depleted from earlier plants. Now these pots are 12 inches, so they're not the recommended five gallon tomato pot size which is uh, required for extremely good growth so keep that in mind as I do this experiment now I will try to give these plants as much sunlight as possible but as of now it is fall and fall means frost will come so I will have to start growing them indoors with grow lights I have two identical grow lights which I will be using other conditions will include single stemming and equal amounts of water now I chose one branch, so suckers will not play a factor in skewing up fruit results. Now I'm not sponsored or I prefer any of these brands over the other, but I just wanted to experiment for myself. And I want to see if either of these methods are better than the other. And if whatever I find better, I will implement it heavily into my 2023 summer season with my new tomato lineup. I wanna have the best for my tomatoes and this is why I'm doing the experiment. And in 70 days, I will post a part two of this video which will compare the two fruits and I will do a taste test of both of them just to see if Bloom Booster actually manipulated better blooms and better flower and fruit production compared to the balanced fertilizer. I will post all my findings once they mature. Stay tuned for more adventures on Riley's Gardening Adventures.